So this is looking a bit strange. Let me show you around. Uh. Welcome back, folks. I hope everyone is well and keeping safe in this testing time for everybody. So I've got a little project for you today and a little bit of a different one because you know how I like to mix things up. <laughs> but before we start, check these out. Ha! <laughs> There's another one. These came in the other day, well a little while ago actually, <laughs> from skullsinspired.com. Basically, they're skulls in resin. Handmade resin skull creations. Thanks man, this is awesome. These are so cool. I don't know what these are. I don't know if they're colorful stones or sweets, but they look pretty funky. Yeah. This came in as well. <laughs> this is a really small pot. Look how tiny this is. I mean, I set a challenge a little while ago. <laughs> Can you get the lid off? Yeah. <laughs> uh, to make a smaller pot than I made, that definitely is a smaller pot than I made. <laughs> that was crazy. This was sent in by Jamie. Man, that is pretty cool. Cheers, buddy. And also got a sticker in from Surrey Makers, Sean. Cheers, Sean. I'll get that on me wall. Right, without further ado, let's get making stuff. Ooh. So I've got this X-Carve. Happy days. I picked this up actually last year uh, at Makers Central and uh, I haven't actually used it yet. <laughs> so I thought today what we would do is come up with something for you that I can incorporate into this project. So um, I've already knocked this up. Now I won't go through obviously how to use this. There are other videos out there that you can kind of find out how to use the x carve This is kind of uh, what they call easel, which comes as part of the, the kind of package. And what I've done here is I've knocked up a little piece that I think would look pretty cool and funky. In this little project that I'm gonna make for you today, I've already set all this up so she's ready to go. Just need a piece of wood, which I'll do now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Bet you could do that again, Nick. Bet you I could. Oh, I, I can't. Now, before I start on this project, I have to say a massive thank you to Joe Mate. I'll leave a link below for his channel or Instagram because he helped me set this up and he's been really kind and he walked me through kind of like just the basics of getting this set up. It's not hard, but I'm pretty thick. So there we go, I'm gonna fill this up now with resin. I'm not gonna to go too wild with it this time round because it's a new thing that I'm doing. So what we can then do once it's filled up with resin, we can then insert this into our project. Well, we're gonna leave that to set whilst we get on with making the actual project. So I actually did another one uh, because I actually wasn't really happy with the way the other one turned out. I think the bit that I used was a little bit too large. Whereas I just swapped it out, done another one and used a smaller bit. And it's got a little bit more definition in this one. As you can see, it sort of goes to the point on the edge, whereas the other one wouldn't do that because the bit was too big. So definitely this one's gonna look a lot nicer in there.
So this is looking a bit strange. Let me show you around. So this is what we've got so far. Uh, I'm not really too sure what kind of shape I'm going for at the moment. If I don't hurry up and find out, we're going to have no wood left. Um, but I'm kind of thinking I should come in a little bit more in here, make this a little bit more sharper. We obviously need to create some form of lid in here to put our carved out piece in the top, which hopefully will look quite cool. But let's carry on and see what we end up with. So as you can see, uh, what I've done here is I've made a little finny owl, um, which I think we may need. Um, I don't know if we're going to or not yet, but I thought I'd make it now as, as the opportunity because I'm going to slice this off anyway. So I thought we'd get a finny out of it, leave it on the side, and if we do use it, then we've got one. Happy days. <laughs> so um, I'm going to cut this off now. I've just finished it off with a bit of Yorkshire and some wood wax 22. Um, and I'm just going to get that off of there. And then what we're going to need to do here is, I'm not too sure actually about that because, well, no, uh, it should be okay. Uh, so we're going to try and make our, you know, slot now for um, our piece so I can get this lid taken off. I'm not going to take it off just yet because we're going to get this ready for the uh, lid. What do I need to take it off now? Can I take it off now? I might do. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. what i was thinking that is looking sweet so that fits in there perfectly uh so i just need to make that a little bit deeper and then uh not this one but our other one that we're waiting for to dry we'll get that in there but actually it looks looks really nice i think it's gonna look really nice
Well, look at this, folks. Oh, oh yes, baby. This looks quite nice, actually. It's kind of like the Holy Grail or something. I don't know what, but something. Um, I think I'm going to leave all these features in here. That looks quite cool. I think this is chestnut. I think. I think that's what it is. I'm not too sure, but I think it is like a chestnut piece of wood. Um, so that looks quite nice. I just finished off the outside and the inside. So that looks really good now. Um, now what we need to do is I'm going to try and get some sort of finial for this. So lid is almost done. Just needs a little bit more polishing up. Um, and I think the finial that we made... Uh, so the finial that we made is this, and I'm not too sure if I like it. I don't know. I'm going to make a different one and see how that goes. For this, we're going to use a bit of bog oak. perfect but what is right so there we go it's a bit weird <laughs> i'm not sure what to call this one yet it looks a little bit like some kind of holy grail something from indiana jones or maybe not so there it is folks um yeah i i think i like it <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's not too bad. It's a bit kind of umpy bumpy in some places, but that's just the character of the wood. You know, um, I love that CNC machine. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, this was just a test kind of piece to put into something, but I could think of so many things that I could do with that. 
I'm surprised I haven't even used it yet. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I made this sign as well. That was the first thing that I did. I made this sign for a friend. Uh, it said White Lodge on it. And it was just like about that big. I hollowed it all out with the machine and then I filled it with some resin. And I've done all that and showed everyone on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on there, go and check me out on Instagram. Link is below because I do put bits and pieces on there. Some bits you won't see on here. Most of it you will, but some you won't. And you don't want to miss anything funkiness, do you? I think it shined up pretty well. Um, pretty well. I'm not sure what happened then. I went a bit Welsh. <laughs> Um, so um, yeah, I, I kind of like it actually. It looks quite cool. The lid is fairly good fit. Um, and there's the inside. Um, it's not a bad little fit there. Fits in quite nicely with a little little tight fit. So I don't go anywhere. I'm gonna hold it just in case it falls out. <laughs> that would break. Plus, it wouldn't be funny. But no, it is pretty tight in there. Um, but um, yeah, I kind of like it. I hope you guys do too. If you do like this one, uh, a little bit of mixing up there with the uh, X carve, um, then please share the video. That would be really helpful to me and the channel. Um, and give us a thumbs up, please. If you guys like this one, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make some more bits with the, with the X carve. Uh, maybe we'll get a little bit more funky on it. We can add some more more patterns into it. I don't know what to do really with it, but there's so many things that you can do uh, with that machine. That's really cool. So it's just good to be able to add some extra bits and extra tools into the shop. Again, I've had it since last year's Maker Central. Um, haven't really had time to sort of set it up. But um, again, thanks to Joe who helped me set that up and you'll find his link below as well if you want to check him out. So there we go. Pretty funky. Mm. Thanks to all my new subscribers that have come over to the channel. I really do appreciate all of your support. And thanks to all my old ones for sticking around. Oh, cheers, Cookie, for me top. I love it. <laughs> Please check out all my other links below where I get my music from, where I get my resin from, and all the other places where you can follow me. Well, that's it from me. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ta.